Hey there and welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and I'm a certified and licensed athletic trainer. In this video, I'm going to be going over two different types of Y rays. The prone Y rays, which means prone is laying on your stomach, and the standing Y rays, which um, is standing on your feet. So I'm going to go over how to do them properly and how you can modify them if necessary. So let's get started. Before we get started, if you're interested in using any of these exercises in the form of a workout program, be sure to go check out my website at www.imomstrong. All right, so first off, I'm going to go over the standing Y rays and how to do it properly. You are going to need a set of dumbbells, and because we are working with a longer lever, you're probably going to need a lighter set of dumbbells. I am showing this with eight pounds, um, but even eight pounds can be a little bit too heavy for some people. So you're just going to stand with your feet about hip width apart um, and dumbbells hanging straight to your side, chest up, knees slightly bent, and you're going to contract your core like always. And you are just simply going to lift your hands straight up to about shoulder height where the dumbbells are at a 45 degree angle. So the dumbbells are not straight in front and they are not straight out to the side. They are like right in between at about a 45 degree angle. And then you're going to lower back down and lift back up. So as you're lifting, you're making sure that the dumbbells are facing up um, and palms facing towards each other. And you're not swinging or swaying, you're just doing a controlled motion. Your elbows are slightly bent because you never want to lock out a joint. And if it is really easy to go to shoulder height, that means you can probably go up to a heavier weight. And then to modify this exercise, you would just simply lower your weight or even use no weight at all if necessary. Now for the prone Y raise, it is a very similar movement, except you're probably gonna need an even lighter weight uh, due to just the types of muscles that you will be working. So I am showing this with three pound weights, but even no weight uh, will still get you some results if you need no weights. So we are going to lay on our stomach and you're going to have the dumbbells straight out in front of you. And you're going to have them at about that same 45 degree angle. So the dumbbells are not going to be straight in front and they're not going to be straight out to the side. They're going to be about right in between at that 45 degree angle. And you are going to squeeze your glutes, have your toes planted on the ground. You can have them a little further apart for stability if you need to. And you are just simply going to lift your hands off the ground and back down and then up and back down. And even this three pounds is pretty heavy. So you can even just do it where your uh, hands are making a fist, thumbs up, and you're lifting up and back down. Really focusing on creating that arch in your back. So contracting these muscles right here in your back, creating that arch as you lift and making sure that your hands come up off the ground. And when you come up, you wanna hold for that split second and then come down and you wanna control it down, don't just drop. You wanna come up and slowly back down. Up and slowly back down. Again, if you can use weights, use weights, but this is a longer lever exercise and you're using um, smaller muscle groups, so it might be a little bit harder. But if you have like a set of one pound weights or even no weights, like that is totally fine. And it's simply adjusting your weights is the modification on this exercise. And there you have it. That is how you do the prone Y raise and the standing Y raise. Hopefully you were able to learn a little bit of something from this video. And if you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you took a moment to like the video. And then for more exercises and how to do them properly, you can head on over to my channel and subscribe there. Until next time, I will see you back here later. Bye, guys.